on my i silly channel that's a crazy man i love it mm -hmm. i'll tell you girl Woo! success i got 101 subscribers on my channel that's great that's like a, a little milestone hitting 100 um yeah and i got 230 on my crazy chili channel thumbs up for that guys you're awesome you really um cheer me on i will definitely soon make a video on um Crazily. I should have done that for a while, uh, but it's just like, um, if you should look now, I have an idea to do a couple of videos I want to make. I want to do them outside, but if you look at the weather, it's quite foggy outside. And I don't want to risk getting my camera ruined uh, because of the damn weather. Damn, damn weather! Ah! That's not funny! Me no like it! Um, so, no. Definitely, I hope to... Have a couple of days soon with a little bit of sunshine, a little bit more dry. All the snow is melting at the moment. We got plus degrees. I think we do. Let's just have a look. Do you, you like have a look? We're gonna find out if we got plus degree. I think we do. Um, why do I do this silly uh, Thai English thing? Yeah, look. The weather is like, oh, Jesus. We got th a three plus. So that is quite awesome spring is coming to denmark we like it it's very good so yeah um i went out last night i wasn't supposed to be out this long i blame you peter and you said it was all right <laughs> so yeah uh what am i gonna do today uh ra -la -la -la. i don't know i've been thinking about maybe i should do uh, like an ice city giveaway with you uh find fun thing have you got some stuff i can give away uh, I think I'll, I'll, I'll probably make a giveaway. I'm not sure. To celebrate, I got hundred. Uh, I hit hundred on um, this channel. Ha <laughs> ha! Thanks to you guys. So uh, okay, and keep your fingers crossed as well, like uh, that way, <laughs> because um, <laughs> uh, because I have. Uh, I went to that job thingy, and I think it went quite well, so keep your fingers crossed that they call me back and say, you're going to have a job at our workplace, and you're going you're gonna to throw luggage around. That's going to be so much fun. Uh, I know that's going to be that day. Oh, we had the funniest thing on the way on the train back home this morning. Uh, I met Jacob, another very nice guy. He's actually moving to Slales, which is like, why, why you want to move down here? It's not no fun. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we sat in the train, it was quite quiet, and him and me just had a chat. And this girl sitting a couple rows behind us, we can't see her, but we can hear her, because she's coughing. Suddenly she's like, <coughs> and there's like, you can just hear this horrible thing coming up in her mouth. And Jacob, we just look at each other, and Jacob's just like, cheers. And that just got me giggling. I mean, he's just like, cheers, because she, <laughs> she had that thing coming up. <laughs> and um, I was, I was... Bursting laughing all the way from Roskilde to Slales. That is like, that is like 40 minute drive on the train where I'm just killing myself laughing. And it was so much fun. <laughs> I should have recorded it. Um, also, there's another guy sitting there, a bit cross from me. I could see him. Um, he started laughing because I did. So <laughs> I'm going to go, go again. It was so much fun. It really was good. Um... Yeah, I should have recorded it. I don't know why I didn't. I think it's because I was so tired at the same time. <sighs> <sighs> don't talk about it because it'll come real. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Did you show you that wood piece I made? What? Oh, my God. This is amazing. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's into me today. I'm in a good mood uh, for once. It's just turned around. I'm in a good mood. Oh, and, and sat down thing. My ear, you know, I got, I got the... Um, those stretchy earlobes, that's where, where I got these things in. That's my ear earrings. I got an infection in this ear. I don't know why, because it is healed up. It's been for a long time. I had these holes for a long time, but uh, I must have scratched it on the inside when I put in an earring. Um, somehow I got some dirt in there. So I have an infection. So it's been cleaned with some TCP and it stinks horrible! Ugh. Um, yeah, so that's it. 
Also, I'm going to uh, stretch my septum hole soon. I bought this yesterday. This is cool. If you if you want even Denmark and you want a piercing, go here definitely. Yeah, this is awesome. This is a little advertisement for you guys because you gave me a great prize. Uh, this is like a rubber washer. Um, but I normally don't want to wear a ring in my nose every day, so I bought this. This looks like a little bullet or pellet or whatever you call it, or it looks like a mini. It looks like a mini dildo. Yeah, so <laughs> shouldn't say that. Well, that is what I gotta put in my nose. <laughs> This is five millimeters. This is oh Jesus! I'm watching myself at the same time. Horrible. <laughs> okay, and this is the little thing here. I'm gonna use it as a keeper in my nose. So when I finally get the hole stretched up, I can just take this here and boop, pop it in the hole, and you won't see I have the piercing. And whenever I want to go to a party where I actually want to have a, a proper ring in, I can just feel a ring in. I mean, I can feel a ring in now. You want to see? You want to see? Uh, but this is just a four millimeter. See that ring here? That ring here, this is that little piece missing there is what I normally keep in my nose. So, uh, yeah, which side is the best? I think so. Ow. There we are. Move. Hi guys, I uh, bought some new skate shoes, they're quite nice, this is like rubber, so they're well protected, and I got like, a nice pattern in it, can you see it? Uh, they're quite cheap, but um, they're fine for me, and uh, I just needed some new ones, they're quite good. But I'm going to do something different with the shoe lacing system, uh, instead of just having normal laces, I'll just put some lights on so you guys can see it, um, I'll take the laces out here, this is the original laces, that one there, just black one. And uh, they're alright, but I want to make something different, so I'm going to use this, I don't know if you can see the proper color, it's quite neon yellow, so I'm going to do like a, a shoelace pattern. So what I plan to do is put the black on in a different way, like so that's going to go f all over like that. And then I'll use this one to go up and down like this, so it should come out to look like a checkerboard. And uh, yeah, that is uh, my plan, so... I will get started and you guys can see the finished product. Okay guys, I'm done with uh, my shoes now. I took off the black shoelaces, which was the standard one that came with the shoes. And I added the yellow ones. And I came up with a different design. I thought it looked a bit more nicer and a bit more different. And yeah, this is how it looked now. So this is uh, the way I decided to make my shoes. What do you think? It looks quite good. Different way of um, showing a uh, pattern. And the best thing is like the overlapping. You see the pattern? So, yeah. Black and yellow. So now I got the new pair of skate shoes. Cool. So, um, yeah. If you guys want to see how I um, how I put the shoelaces on like that, I can show you one day. I'll make a video. If anyone would be interested in trying having a different design. It's not very hard, and it takes about the same time as uh, doing normal. Um, what you do is really... I mean, I can actually tell you there. You've got a shoelace there. That's the middle. There, of course. Jump up there. Up there. Up there and through. And do the same with the other one, so you come up there and you just underneath and over, up and six out there, back and six out there. So the whole pattern is like so it's very simple, uh, doesn't take much thinking. I think you can do it as well with two colors, I've seen, but I haven't tried it before. Uh, but I'll probably do one day because I got some nice blue laces which would also look good on black shoes. I don't know how long these would look nice because they are made for my skating. So hopefully. But uh, I like them because they got different design. As I showed you, they got like uh, a rubber. And they got these nice six sack lining in them. And they're cheap shoes. Um, the only thing is 
199 Danish uh, with like 200 kroner and I never buy expensive skate shoes because having expensive shoes and just ruining them on, on uh, skating is not my idea and when I do kickflips I scrape my foot on this bit here so all that is like very quickly messy and dirty in a hole and scraped so I think because this is black I'll think next time if I get a hole I will get a a bike tire hose or something like that and try to cut out a piece and glue it on around the corner so the shoe will last longer all right um see you later guys bye thank you for watching my videos uh, don't forget to subscribe right now uh, and thumbs up thank you for watching my videos uh, video uh, uh.